All right, so here we have the Cobra CP1407 3500KV motor. This one is the Banggood edition. So when I saw it available on Banggood, I thought I ordered the 3500KV. There's other KV values, but I thought 3500 would be representative of the overall performance of uh, these uh, series of motors uh, because it's right in the middle. And it's one of the more versatile KVs because you can run uh, four uh, and three inch props and, and some of the five inch props would run will run okay and it's not too harsh on the batteries i guess you can call it it's a mid kv for this size motor so this is one of the most popular ones to run three and four inch uh, prop yeah i wish i could order more but uh you know limited budget so had to pick so anyway uh it comes in this nice plastic box and uh, it's the motor and uh, some small sticker and they do give you this allen key uh, for the two millimeter screws and a low profile aluminum nylock uh, so that's nice cobra motors have always done pretty well as far as performance is uh, cobra really knows how to make a powerful motor that's what we're expecting out of this 1407 so we'll see in a bit when we put it to the thrust stand so as you can see it comes with a rather short motor leads these are about 80 millimeters a little bit short nowadays most uh, manufacturers are giving you longer leads about 100 120 millimeters so that you can easily connect them to a center mounted 4-in-1 ESC uh, so that's something that uh, perhaps Cobra needs to start doing for these small motors uh, it makes it easier to, on the build uh, so right away let's let's see what it weighs and that's with the 80 millimeter leads so 16.4, I cannot do the equivalent uh, weight, cutting down the, the wires to roughly 50 millimeters. So, so we would have to cut about 90 millimeters worth of wires. And let's see what that weighs. That's going to be about 0.5 grams. So these are about 16 grams with uh, 50 millimeter wire. Not the lightest for this size. Uh, the Roro Geeks are somewhat lighter and I think the Brother Howie might be just slightly lighter, but it's not too bad. Uh, so this motor has the standard E-clip, easy to remove and uh, pretty easy to take off the bell. And there's the magnets. Uh, they seem a little bit on the thin side. Uh, so they're probably N52 magnets. There's some of the blue balancing epoxy there. Actually quite a lot. I've never seen that much epoxy use. So all of that and that right there. And quite a good amount of uh, epoxy for the uh, for the magnets. So those are not they're not coming off. Uh, although these 1407s usually don't suffer from magnets coming off uh, for the most part i've never seen one that or any complaint about any reports uh, that they come off so shaft uh, is two millimeters uh, there's the stator a single strand wire looks pretty neat pretty good uh, packaging on the on the windings and the height of the stator Aspect, uh, yeah, it is seven, and no surprises there. So it is a 1407.2 millimeter lamination that's pretty much standard in all motors these days. So, yeah, overall, pretty, pretty good uh, construction on the motor. Uh, the finish is pretty good, uh, looks, looks pretty high grade. Uh, so, let's put it back together and we'll run it through the thrust stand and see what this motor can do and how it stacks up to the other 1407s.
All right, so here we have the thrust test results for the Cobra CP1407-3500 kV. Uh, this motor actually measure 3380 kV, but 120 kV lower. Pretty not noticeable, I think, especially for these type of motors where RPM really makes a difference, especially on three inch props. So I was kind of surprised to see so much lower kV than the advertised. 50, 30 kV is fine, but 120, that's quite, uh, quite a lot. And that actually shows on the results here. As we can see, the motors not getting the same thrust uh, figures as the other 35, 3600 kV motors uh, from Brother Hobby, Roro Geeks RCX it's uh, noticeably lower it doesn't mean that the motor is not capable it's just that they made it with uh, too low of a kV if I had known this I would have gotten the 3750 kV which is the next kV higher version of this motor but I thought it was gonna be right on the spot and uh, uh, that was not the case so result uh, we, yeah, we see on the 3 inch props performance numbers are not as good as the other motors so 511 546 Luminear 3040 by 3 from what I recall all the other motors have done about 600 620 or so so this one's 570 so we're off by about 30 grams that's a, that's a good amount it does pretty well though as far as amps as we can see with the four inch props tri-blade props 828 and uh, very manageable amps it does have that advantage amps are pretty manageable for these uh three inch props when the loads get higher even on this 50 30 prop uh, diatone one kilogram that's pretty respectable actually at uh, 27 amps so that's very manageable so the only drawback of this low kV is on the 3 inch props. So this is where we want uh, higher kV. But as we go up on the prop diameter, it actually does pretty well. So we'll do a side by side and see how it compares. Alright, so let's uh, quickly look uh, at a side by side. The Brother Hobby here on the left. Yeah, it's uh, doing a little bit uh, better as far as thrust with the uh, HQ 3030 by 4 uh, we're getting 580 here and 546 so off by about 35 or so uh, Dal T4045 as the props get larger the gap gets a lot smaller though uh, so it's only on the 3 inch props that we see the disadvantage of the lower KV but uh, as the props get uh, larger this motor is doing quite well actually let's look at the Gen Fan 4045 uh, 748 at 22 amps on the Brother Hobby and 726 at uh, 20 amps. So the, the gap starts to get uh, closer. And then we go on to the Dow T4045, 843 at 27 and 849. So practically the same. And then uh, move on to the 5030 prop. Uh, this is the Gen Fan and right here is the Diaton. They're, they're about the same. So one kilogram on the uh, cobra so that shows this motor is actually pretty strong and able the only thing that we're missing here is the kv so unfortunately i went for the mid kv i didn't order the 3750 kv i'm sure that motor would definitely uh, have quite high performance higher thrust of course so yeah this gives actually a good indication of the motor capability so as we can see uh, with the five and four inch props is very capable and uh, it's not uh, using excessive amount of amps so pretty good performance overall i think so you guys on three inches might want to get the higher kv perhaps the 37 or the 4000 kv versions of this motor and if you're gonna use four inch prop maybe this might be a better choice unless you want like full out speed then you'll go for the 3700 kv uh, for four inch so all right that's the thrust test and review of the motor so hope you find this data useful and until the next video thanks for watching